Three men are recovering from a blast at a steel facility on Zug Island in River Rouge. They were severely burned by hot ash on Friday. 7 Action News reporter Jennifer Ann Wilson spoke to a victim's brother who explains how a hero stepped in to help. The man I spoke with asked me not to use names or photos. He says his brother has been a boilermaker for 20 years. He's got a wife, a son, and he lives in Alabama. He's in town specifically to do this job at U.S. Steel. And now he's in the hospital fighting for his life. Friday night at the U.S. Steel Great Lakes facility in an area called the D4 Blast Furnace, 15 contracted workers were instructed by a supervisor to clean out the large dust collector. That's according to several boilermakers who wish to remain anonymous. They say they told the supervisor they didn't think it was safe, but were assured the collector was empty. But it wasn't. Sources say there was 80,000 pounds of hot ash inside, and it fell on top of all 15 workers. He ingested and inhaled most of the, the in his respiratory system. An apprentice dove into the hot ash to save him. That man ran toward danger to save another man's life. In my book, that's a hero. Both men are now being treated for serious injuries, and he wants to know what happened inside this facility to leave his brother fighting for his life. He is conscious, in and out, but he's heavily sedated and still on a respirator. He cannot speak right now, so he has to write notes. U.S. Steel released a statement acknowledging the incident, saying that no U.S. Steel employees were hurt, saying in part, 15 contracted Songer Services employees were taken to local hospitals. For more information, contact Songer Services. I called Songer Services, and as soon as I identified myself, the woman who answered the phone hung up on me. I called a couple more times, was sent to voicemail each time. The voicemail said I should call a guy named Kyle, which I did, but Kyle didn't answer, and his voicemail is full. I'm Jennifer Ann Wilson, 7 Action News.